Hey babes, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this ripped zombie mouth look. And I know full well that it's not Halloween time, but BBC3 have a brand new show called I Survived a Zombie Apocalypse and the BBC themselves asked me to create a zombie themed makeup tutorial and of course I was like, yeah. I'm gonna do this zombie look and it's so much fun to do guys. This is an incredible opportunity for me and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, it's me Mark. Um, first thing, I'm gonna take off my glasses. I'm gonna take a brown gel eyeliner, take a synthetic concealer brush and take that gel liner and Sloppily just apply that around the mouth area. Doesn't have to be perfect. I know it looks terrible right now, but it will look it will come together. Now I'm going to be taking a red lip paint. You can use a red lipstick if you want. And apply that on top of the brown. Do you know what I look like right now? Like when you're like a little toddler, like a little girl or something, and you're playing around with like your mum's makeup and the lipsticks and stuff and you just put it everywhere. That's what I feel like I look like right now. And then we're gonna be taking tissue paper. I'm gonna take some tissue and just rip them up. Doesn't have to be perfect. You know, just rip them off. Just rip it off. I'm taking a Q-tip and some liquid latex and apply that around the top lip. What you're going to do with the tissue is you just want to roll it into long pieces and just glue them on. To secure them you want to take one ply tiny pieces of tissue paper and apply another layer of the liquid latex on top. You can also use cotton wool. Apply the cotton wool and put a layer of liquid latex on top. You want to completely saturate the cotton or the tissue with the liquid latex. And you want to do the same for the bottom lip. You can make it as big as you want. I'm making mine pretty big. And you don't want to make this uniform at all. You want to make this kind of organic, not symmetrical on both sides at all. Now this isn't as complicated as it looks. This was very very easy. It's just a little bit messy but now I'm just gonna let this all dry. Okay so whilst I was waiting for this to all dry I would put in my contacts. I put in a big contact my left eye and on my right eye I put on my white out contact. And what we're gonna do now is cover up the cotton and the tissue with the brown gel eyeliner. What this is gonna do is since this is pale if I put foundation on just this on its own, then it will appear very, very light. Whereas if I apply a darker colour first, the foundation on top will just blend in a lot better. You want to make sure that the latex is completely dry, because if you go in with your brushes, your expensive brushes, straight away while the li liquid latex is wet, then it'll ruin your expensive brushes that you care for. And now over the top I'm going to be applying my foundation. You want to stamp the foundation onto the face because spreading it out like this it won't get into the crevices. That looks disgusting. Which is good. Okay, the eyes are going to be really really easy. What you're going to do is take a purple eyeshadow, just a little bit of that purple and apply that to the bags of the eyes. And I'm going to take a red eyeshadow and apply that all over the lid. And this is gonna make our eyes look really, really sore. Anywhere that you've got imperfections, just make them more apparent. So I've got a spot right here, and I'm gonna make that even redder. See how irritated that blemish looks now? We don't wanna conceal that, we wanna accentuate it because this is a zombie look. Just apply that sort of sporadically against the face. Do you remember the brush that I used the brown gel eyeliner for? With whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to be dotting that onto the face like this. And this looks ridiculous right now. I know. After that, you just want to smudge it with your fingers. You want to make your skin look dirty and disheveled and 
one really. With a dark brown eyeshadow, I'm going to be just contouring the face slightly, just to make the face a little bit more hollow and gaunt. <gasps> oh my god, it went in my hair. Oh my god, brilliant. Dave and oh my god. This is what happens, folks. I'm so clumsy. Was the foundation on my hand? I just washed my hair today, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna make the blood area just a little bit more juicy. So I'm taking an all over bond, put that in a flat surface. This is super thick, that's why I'm gonna use it. And put some of your red lipstick into the mix. You wanna make this blood really dark, so I'm gonna be taking some of the gel eyeliner as well. And with the back of a brush, just mix that all in. Now you just wanna apply that to the red area again. This is gonna make it look super juicy. I am going to add some finishing touches and I'm going to add green and blue veins. You want to take the tiniest little bit of this and just draw veins protruding out of places. Get your angled brush and just sort of wiggle your fingers around so that it wiggles the brush around and then you just want to blend it in with your fingers so that it looks like it's coming from inside the skin. And this is the final look you guys and I would absolutely love it if you recreated this look and create any zombie look for me and if you do then send your selfies over to at BBC3 on Instagram and Twitter and also tag me at Prince of Vanity on Instagram and Twitter as well and I'll be sure to check those out and give it a like. Don't forget to check out the show I Survived a Zombie Apocalypse on BBC3 when it comes out. And I hope that you learned something new today, and if you did, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. This has been Mark, the Prince of Vanity. Until I see you on my next video, subscribe, goddammit. Bye, guys.